see, is it streaming? I think so. My connection is shit down here, so I apologize. But we're going to work on some leather work. I'm going to be patterning. So I guess we get started. I am uh, patterning some band braces for Tears of the Kingdom Link for my friend. Um, we're doing commission trading. So, yeah. Once again, my connection is crap, so this is probably going to be choppy. It's going to be, it's just probably going to suck. But yeah, let's at least uh, get started. So pulling up his measurements, pulling up pictures. No, I don't want my email. I want the pictures on my computer. I should probably do a screen share. If I can figure out how to do that too. Move that over there. Let's see how how can I do that? Come so streaming from my camera right here. I'm still figuring this stuff out, so please bear with me. Do, 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 do. Add. Oh, well, okay, look at this. I figured it out, I think. Uh, window capture. Nice. Add to existing. Okay, I guess that's not happening. Try pictures. Hold the picture. Pictures, pictures, cosplay. Of course, it's all out of whack. Okay, let's see. Uh, no Peter Pan, not Java. No, let's just put these in order. Sort by name. There we go. Oh, it's not in this folder anyways. Huh. It's under commissions. Yeah. Okay. Link. Leather. There we go. Let's pull up. Not that one. That one. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it's coming up. No, it is not. Okay, we'll trash that. Okay, add. Hmm, it's not letting me do it. Because it would be nice if I could pull up 
my window so you guys can see what I'm actually working on and see what I'm looking at. But this isn't letting me and it's driving me crazy. It's making me upset. Because <laughs> I don't know how to do jack on this thing. Okay, this is this is driving me absolutely bonkers. And let me add my browser, add existing. No, it's not. Okay, I'll just look it up later. I'll just look it up later. You guys can just watch me work then. Um, if you guys know the Tears of the Kingdom, um, I haven't played it. My friend is in love with it. And so he is 3D printing me some stuff. And in return, I have some stuff for Testament. And then in return, I'm doing some leather work for him. So... Yeah, that's what we're doing, and this is driving me crazy. Guess we're not doing that. Hello. Yes, cut above the rest, something like that. Um, let's see. Um, went back to his measurements. Uh, forearm is eleven. Point five. Get my tape measure. Eleven and a half. So we'll go down here. That's the longest part. That's his forearm. Hi, Leo. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Point five wrist so between the two is nine inches. So let's see between this the center is right there. Instead of mathing, I just fold my tape in half. That's what works. Nine inches between the two. So we'll go there. Hi, Leo. Thank you. And his wrist is seven inches. So seven inches cut in half. Y'all, right, y'all. Leo, you are so cute. How are you so damn cute? Okay. So it's gonna buffer a lot. Um, again, because I'm down in my basement working. Um, use loads of energy settings. Okay, there we go. That works. Hopefully. Okay. 
So I'll be working on this for about an hour. So hopefully it'll record and do stuff. So, um, let's see. Okay. So we've got it marked out. Ah, Leo, you're laying on it. My dog's face is right here, right off camera. You can barely see him. So, okay. Let's pull up Link's picture again. Okay, so that thing is around the wrist. So there's a thing here. It's up. About halfway. And it's longer. Hmm. Oh, we're going to put it start here on this one. So this is the boring part of uh, leather work is patterning. Patterning is the boring part. It's exciting, but it's boring at the same time. See what the outside looks like. Okay, so it's a little up. Let's go in the middle here. Yeah, it does do that. Okay. I go over two and a half. Let's do it. I think that does it. But it's got a bit of a curve, it looks like. Yeah, I like that better. this curve for the wrist. Of course, we're going to probably fold this damn thing in half and just cut it like cut this half out and fold it over and then cut the rest of it out. So it's nice and perfectly symmetrical. That's how we do it. Okay. Okay. So it does that. We got the underside. Oh, well, look at that. I can pull up, pull up two pictures at once. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, let's see.
that's how we're gonna do it. Let's see. Ah, but that comes down as a curve. So we're gonna do this. I will put it on my own arm and adjust it as we go. Yeah, I think that I think that's gonna work. I think so. Who's messaging me? Oh, Carly in my Jawa group. Well, I should say Meryl's Jawa group. Get my exacto knife. Thank you. It's upside down. It's upside down. No, it's not. Of course not. It's a big guy. Probably Okay, like I said, we're going to just fold this in half. That's the best way to just get it nice and even, is you just fold it in half and trace. You with your pencil or your X-Acto knife. There we go. Nice and simple, easy peasy. And as I learn to stream better, um, my streams will get better, of course. This is my first like crafting stream. So I obviously do not know what I'm doing when it comes to streaming. So we'll just, you know, see what happens. Go. Oh, his arm is about the same as mine. Oh crap. Cool. That's nice. Hey Tanak. Um everything's going pretty good. Um I hope I pronounced your your name right. So I'm just checking out I think that is the right shape for links. Bam braces. Yay, got that. So 
got that. I figure out the shape of his pauldrons. Um, probably. <laughs> Hello, actually, cat. Beep, beep, you're a sheep. Okay, pauldron. Like before, we're gonna go. I'm just gonna measure my own arm. There. To there, we're thinking about six inches. Yeah, six inches right there. And for those just joining us, like I said, this buffers really badly because I'm down where I have very little signal. That is my work area. So. Middle is right here. This is the bottom one. Leo, you can come down here, you little nugget. So this is the bottom pauldron, the bottom scale, I should say. So like before, cut out one half of it. that done. So now I bring it over here. Hmm. Let's see. The camera a little this way. There we go. On my poster board. So, let's see. Okay. 
I'm going to make it come out here. Yeah, it works. Yeah, then I'll put it on the mannequin and see how that looks. So far, that looks great. Um, cut this out. What it's gonna look like. Like that. Let's check that. Got the jam brace, that. That one piece is gonna have to take some paper instead of poster board. Put this on the mannequin real quick. See how it looks. Perfect. Ah, I sized it just right. Okay, let's see. Now we just gotta draw the symbols and stuff on it. So that's gonna be fun. That thick around. Five eighths inch border. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's a diamond there. A little diamond there. Okay.
So the Zelda symbol wings. Oh, they don't curve up like that. They curve up like that. Oh no. That's bad. So there's a diamond here. Goes down. Here and then the little diamond is here. And now we put the wings completely wrong. Okay. Yeah, it's true. There we go. Also, sometimes I do get quiet when I'm working because I'm concentrating. So just working. Um, and forget that I'm on stream. There we go. And then do the little zigzaggy thingy bob.
That looks better. Those look like they should be closer together though. The feathers of the wing. They should be closer together. Uh. And mutilated bloods or whatever. No, thank you. Get bent. Okay, we're gonna try this all over again. All over again. So we've got the two diamonds, we've got the squiggle, okay, we'll do the feathers first, how does that sound? Yeah, good stretch. Big stretch. But there's only four feathers. So what am I doing wrong? I think my diamond is too big. So this thingy starts here. Leo, what you doing? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, big yawn. a little bit better. Oh, much better, much better.